Hi everybody, it's Lorraine here, um, Lorraine Murray from Feel Good Therapies. I am delighted to see you today and we're going to continue with our uh, meditation practice working with the Reiki principles and we've been working over the past few weeks um, practicing how to um, appreciate and be grateful for things in our life, how to let go of worries and anger, how to speak our truth. And if you've missed any of these, then go to my website, feelgood-therapies.com and you can look them up there on the Info and Offers section under Healthy Tips. So you'll be able to find us there. So um, today we're going to work with the last principle of Reiki. And um, this one is to help you deal with challenging people. So some of you may look at me as somebody who teaches meditation and Reiki and thinks that my life is just one little cloud that just floats along with no stress and nobody annoying me. Well, I can assure you that's not the case. Um, I get challenged just like everybody else. and uh, But fortunately, I have my meditation practice to either help me get over it or perhaps to uh, help me cope with it at the time that's happening. Usually it's coping at the time it's happening. If it's a really difficult person, it's usually reflecting on it afterwards. So I'm going to show you a technique to help you do that. And the, the way we've been working is when we're breathing in, we breathe in just for this moment and breathing out whatever the mantra or the affirmation is uh, that we work with. Now breathing in just for this moment gives us the opportunity to let go of the past and the future and to just sit with our breath in the moment so that we're not going to get caught up in the drama of our mind and if we do have emotions that are rising we can notice and acknowledge them but we're not getting caught up in that we're just staying in the moment with our breath we know all this is going on but we're just staying in the moment so that's the first thing to remember the second thing is that when we breathe out um, we're acknowledging love and respect for all beings and that is a phrase I'd like you to combine with your out breath. Now you may think, hmm, how is that going to help me with somebody who's really challenging? Well, you see, my experience is that those people that are challenging always present us with the biggest opportunities to learn. It may be that we learn something about ourselves in terms of tolerance and patience and compassion. It may be teaching us how to set boundaries in a powerful but non-confrontational way. It may be that we see whatever qualities this person is displaying. So maybe if they're being um, obtuse or greedy or, I don't know, whatever behaviour of another really upsets you. Maybe they're demonstrating a really gross version of what you don't like about yourself. Because, you know, we do like to think that we're perfect. We do like to think that we never get angry, we never greedy, we never gossip or do anything wrong. But we're human beings and we're the whole package. We're not just about being spiritually minded and peaceful and compassionate and loving. We're very capable of that. But we're also capable of what we regard as the negative qualities. And sometimes when we see people in our life who come in with, you know, a quality we don't like, it's a little bit like looking in the mirror and seeing a reflection back at yourself of something you don't like about yourself. And we think it's outside of ourselves because we see it in the other person and go, oh, I can't believe they're like that. But really, it's because we can't accept that part of ourselves. That's just to give you a range of options of what happens when we have a challenging person. It's not all of these all the time, but it's for us to be aware of when we're with a challenging person. So how do we cope with that, I hear you ask. Well, one of the things I find really helpful is using the mantra, breathing in just for this moment, breathing out, I will love and respect all. And just seeing what comes up with that, not trying to make yourself love somebody, not trying to make yourself forgive or accept somebody, just seeing what comes up. But during that time, you may wish to consider that when a person who's really challenging behaves that way, do, do you think they're a happy person? So if you think of a really challenging person in your life right now, or one that's been in your uh, in the past, can you think of one? 
And if you think about that person, do you think that they're happy, that they're truly, deeply joyful and happy with themselves, with their life, with everything in it? Now, I imagine you saying, no, they're not. Because when we're happy, we don't feel the need to behave that way. In fact, it's easy to be generous, it's easy to be kind. You know, when we're happy, it's like we have our rose petals coloured glasses on, everything, the glass is always half full. And with people who are not in that position, the glass is definitely half empty. And so it's really difficult for them to behave in a way that's going to be nice and kind because they don't feel it towards themselves. They're never going to show it to anyone else. So breathing in just at this moment, breathing out, I love and respect all, is I'm not trying to change that person, but it's about understanding that that's where they are right now. And they maybe will change, maybe they won't. Maybe you'll stay in their company, maybe you won't. But that's who they are and that's what they're going through right now. And they're doing the very best with the, the level of awareness that they have. Another thing I quite like to do is to, we could bring this into the meditation, is to bring in the energy of pink light. And pink works from the heart center. So pink is a very loving colour to use meditation. You don't need to understand that, you don't need to analyse it, it just is. And when we think of a challenging person, if we combine the mantra with thinking about them surrounded in the colour pink, their ears pink, their wearing pink, their hair is pink, whatever, it actually brings a much more loving connection between us and them. And if they're not feeling the love for themselves, it will help them a little bit more. You will be supporting them without giving of yourself, you will just be uh, giving a loving connection which you have an infinite supply of anyway. So we'll just, it's easier to, to see how that works in action than to explain it. So let's kind of get ready. So if you want to make sure your phones are switched off, um, have your feet flat on the floor and uh, have a glass of water or something to drink. So just pause this just now if you have to and go and get that. And then uh, you want to close your eyes if you can, but if you're in a public place and you can't, just lower your gaze so that your gaze is soft and gentle and come into your breath. And just start to be aware of the movement of your breath as it moves in and out of your body. So we're not trying to breathe, we're just noticing the breath, which was happening before you thought about it. We're just noticing how it moves in, how our chest, our tummy maybe rises and falls and also how it relieves itself of the body. So breathing in, following the journey of your in-breath and breathing out. And just noticing that again and again. And not trying to force yourself to take deeper breaths, just maybe inviting your body to take a deeper breath, but not forcing it, just allowing it in and letting it go. And with each out breath, just invite your body to soften and relax a little bit more. So you might notice pockets of tension here and there. Just breathe into them, breathe out and invite your body to relax. So if you would like to just now with the in-breath, mentally to yourself, breathing in, just for this moment, and then mentally to yourself, breathing out, I love and respect all. Breathing in, just for this moment, breathing out, I love and respect all. And just let the energy of those words seem to wrap around that breath, combine with the breath, so that you're breathing them in and out of your body. And just keep doing that with each breath. just start to notice how your body responds when you breathe those words in and out. Maybe there's a release of tension somewhere, or maybe you become aware of where you hold it. So breathe those words in and out, that part of you that's holding that tension. Just for this moment, I love and respect all. And then acknowledge that that love and respect all also includes you, loving and respecting yourself.
just for this moment, I love and respect all. Just combining the energy of those words with each breath. And then as you breathe those words in and out, as you think about that challenging person, just maybe surround them in that colour pink, in any way that you can imagine or feel. Wrap them in a blanket of the colour, see them surrounded in a cloud of colour of pink. Breathing in just for this moment, breathing out, I love and respect all. Not trying to change them or give in to them or surrender to them or anything like that. You're just bringing a different connection in with each breath. And if there's any strong emotions or thoughts that come up, then just go back to breathing the words in and out, just for this moment, breathing out, I love and respect all. Just a few more breaths. And then I want you to just let go of the words and just sit with your breath for a few moments and just notice how you feel and where your thoughts are and how your body is. And then you can just think about wiggling your fingers and toes, opening your eyes when you feel ready, and maybe having a stretch, drinking some water. So, I hope that was okay. It's a very short exercise, and it's one I would encourage you to repeat. You don't need me to guide you, but if it's easier, you can listen in again. This video is here. You can also, if you're a Reiki practitioner, um, our Reiki CD that we have, you'll see the link here, will actually, uh, you're able to buy that or download it as MP3s. Or you can join one of our meditation or our Reiki classes if you want to, where we teach a lot more of this. Um, next week what I'll do is I'll combine all the different Reiki principles, so we'll maybe get a feel for how the different words make us feel, because we've just been concentrating them all uh, at different stages over the past few weeks. So we'll try that and see how we get on. But I wish you a really beautiful week. Thank you for listening. Bye for now.